Somebody's looking like, what is this? <laughs> well, well, well. You know, it's just, I got to talk about it. So look at somebody and say, what's wrong? What's wrong? With right. Amen. What's wrong with right? Adamandbeliever.com forward slash. I didn't want to type all that, so I just put www.pdf. I was tired. That's too many words. But it's what's wrong with right. It should pull up. Did it pull up? Okay, good, good. What's wrong with right? I got, I got a sheep and a goat. You know, and the goat in the Bible has always represented sin. The goat of Mendez represented sin. And that was the goat that they put the sins of the people in to drive off uh, the um, cliff to represent God taking the sins of the people away. That goat is also worshipped in all kinds of witchcraft and dark circles as Baphomet, the horned demon. Uh, also Pan in Greek mythology and uh, also those um, nymphs and uh, satyrs and they all perverted monstrous creatures with these goat horns the goat always represents that and the thing about it is the goat is always on the left wow. I'm going to preach this I don't, I don't care I don't care you know we as a church and Negroes, we just act like we just fresh out of slavery. Yeah, we fresh out of slavery and we want a big mama to lead us and we don't want male leadership and we, we just act a fool at election time, no matter whether we a preacher, pastor, nothing. We just going to get on, in line with the left. And I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to deal with this today. I ain't sorry, because I've been dealing with it. But I'm going to show this video. Next time the police kill a black man, I want y'all to be front and center. I love how she said that. Don't ever ask us for help again. Never in your life. Don't ever ask us to advocate for you. Don't you ever in your life come to us and ask why aren't we there? Because we was there. And now we not. Y'all are on your own. Everybody. Anybody that voted for him, y'all are on your own. Don't ever ask black women, us, don't ever ask us for help again. For nothing. He said he gonna get police qualified immunity. Don't you ever come ask us why aren't we, why does this happen? And for the Caucasian women or for any woman that voted for him and your reproductive health whenever you need some help or your child needs some help, don't come asking us why aren't we there for you. I need the person that gets on here and cries. But this could, this could break me and my parents apart because they just don't understand what they voted for and like what it means and the bigotry and hatred that they stand behind and how I like am trying to be a good person. I'm not Catholic like they are, which is ironic because is it's like religion supposed to make you love. But I could see it like breaking me and my parents apart because they just don't get it and they don't get that they voted for someone who's gonna make my friends lives hell my life's okay i'm a white woman but my friends are not gonna be okay
The faith community has always served as a beacon of hope in trying times. And this election is no different. We are going to remember this moment forever. The moment we chose joy and freedom as a new way forward. Some say faith and politics don't mix, but freedom and hope do. Seeing people from all different backgrounds races, religions, and genders gather to show their support and enthusiasm for Kamala, Kamala Harris is church. She exudes integrity, dignity, humanity, and empathy. And she can reach across the aisle, any aisle, and get things done. That's what we need in the White House. The time is now. The time is now. This moment, right now, each of us are called to our own vineyard. This is Kamala's. When our sister wins, we, we all, all win. win. Vote for Kamala Harris by November the 5th. So in the gospel, we are told of a man who traveled from the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. And while traveling, he was attacked by robbers. We remember he was beaten. He was bloody. They left him for dead. But then a Samaritan walks by. He sees the man and he stops. The Samaritan bandages the stranger's wounds. He brings him to an inn, gives him shelter and a hot meal, and he saves the man's life. This parable the parable of the Good Samaritan teaches us to love thy neighbor as thyself. I thank you. And under the leadership of the presiding bishop and chief apostle of the Church of God in Christ. In a church that has stood for justice for over a century, and what a blessing to be here in Detroit. I am reminded of a passage from scripture. The prophet Jeremiah wrote, for I know the plans I have for you. They are the plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Church, God has a plan for us. See, I am going to endorse her. I, I'm with her. I wish I had somebody else that would go with her. We cannot allow, we cannot allow ourselves to be caught up in the hype and to deal. Let me tell you, I ain't calling no names. Tell somebody he ain't calling no names. But that other person is a convicted felon. That other person, that uh, somebody say other person. That other person lies repeatedly, right in your face. Three days later. Leaders endorse people that will enhance the lives of the people they lead. It's not about me. It's about the people I lead. There was absolutely no candidate that I agreed with 100%. No candidate. Well, you don't agree with everything your wife say. But it was my responsibility as a leader to weigh it all out and see which person I thought 
would most benefit the people I lead. I did that. I'm not ashamed of that. Ooh, some of y'all ain't cussed like this in a long time. Y'all, we, I, I, ooh, we, I, I, okay, let me let that go. I just, that we can't even fathom a female being in the leadership role. I need all my daughters in this room to give God praise that no matter how much the devil tries to fight you, you get ready to be in the leadership role. I Slap three people and tell them we're going to be all right. 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 This is the day of the daughter. I said this is the day of the daughter. And you may have been held back in the past and there may have been a glass ceiling over your life in the past, but I'm... White supremacy won, patriarchy won, sexism won, greed won, all of that won this past Tuesday. I'm simply saying, my sisters and brothers, we're moving into a Project 2025 world, a world where the Civil Rights Bill of 64 is going to be destroyed, a world where they are going to have King Donald reigning because of the Supreme Court saying he can reign without restraints, he can reign without any guardrails whatsoever, and his cult following is now so emboldened that they had the nerve to scare our young people this week, sending messages that targeted our young people, telling them to report to slave plantations. But I want to speak to women for about 21 seconds. If they keep not inviting you to the table, slap another sister and say, baby, we're going to build our own. Can I get about 500 women in this room to find another sister and say, baby, it's time to build. It's time to build. If they're going to keep locking us out, let's build. If they're going to keep telling us it ain't our time, let's build. And it's the same America that voted against the most qualified, most educated, most well-respected woman and person to ever run for president in the United States of America on last Tuesday. A lot of people trying to masquerade and just say, well, uh, they didn't campaign hard enough. But in 107 days, this woman has done a remarkable job trying to tell the nation about the truth of herself. And it ain't up to us that white women and white men and Latino folks could not accept the truth. But tonight I came to tell all of the MAGA fans, eat the cake, Anna Mae, eat the cake. Uh, that whatever it is that you try to do to the children of God, you better be careful. Because he said, touch not my servant and do my prophet no harm. Y'all ain't saying nothing. We ain't ever scared. But the most consistent voter on yesterday was black women because black women made up in their mind I would rather starve to death than let some white racist misogynist get back into the White House and do it over a qualified black sister y'all ain't saying nothing but I'm glad to see some black women in the building who had made up in their mind before I be a slave I'll be buried in my grave and go home to my Lord and be free. The rest of y'all ain't got to say nothing. Lord have mercy. Just a couple of things before I go further, just based on some of this. So just to let you know, this election wasn't ever about the issues, so the, 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 the economic issues. Wasn't about the money, wasn't about any of that. When they asked Kamala's folks, the people voting for her, why they were voting for her, the women said, because they want to see a woman president. Okay, so why do they want to see a female president? Because a female president is out of order. 
according to scripture. You don't have to clap. You don't have to clap. Women are not biologically, physically, and emotionally designed to lead in that capacity. Nope. And any real woman would agree with me. Amen. That is not what women were designed for. That capacity to lead men. That's just not it. So any preacher that's going for that is an emasculated man who has that going on in his house. Okay, we know that. I'm just going to speak frankly. Can I do that? Whoever Frank is, I'm going to speak. But that's... <laughs> So they knew if they got her in, it would legitimize them and the feminist movement. This was about feminism, the feminist movement. The women are upset at Trump. They tried to find whatever they could find wrong with him just so that they could get behind Kamala and have a woman in there to legitimize their Jezebel actions authority over a man which is not biblical now God never chose a woman in the Bible to lead men not one epistle in the Bible was penned by a female not one apostle in the Bible called by Christ was female not one elder in the Old Testament with Moses he selected 70 and not one single female. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. And it's not to demean you as a woman. You think you can do anything that a man can do? I believe a woman can do most things that a man can do with a consequence. When you start doing what a man does, your body will break down. That's why we have all of these ovarian fibroid all of these reproductive issues is because women are carrying male weight and that affects you because you weren't designed you were designed for a man period I'm sorry this is just the truth it's what the Bible says anybody don't like it find a church that preach something else that's the truth according to the Bible the head of every woman is a man the head of every man is God. That's God's order. Our country is trying to flip the order and they would have given women license to behave accordingly. That's why they wanted her. The LGBT and these others and abortionists, they wanted her in so that they could keep killing babies and transforming our uh, children and their own bodies into an image that was not sanctioned by God but I'm just telling you that I'm telling you why these folks was reacting like that screaming and hollering and yelling because if you're in the LGBT or you're in these alternate lifestyles or alternate morality of uh, lifestyles and, and groups and different things you need to be legitimized you need affirmation a gay person has to be affirmed every day. That's why they talk about their sexuality openly. Regular people, heterosexual, we don't walk around talking talk about when, when we did it with who. We don't have to because we're male and female. But when you're an alternative, you have to constantly try to get that validated by other people. So you need laws to protect you. You need Pride Month. You need all of these things to celebrate something that should be private. It's not private. I need it public so that they can legitimize my private actions. So they needed a leader in that legitimized their private actions. If I'm having abortions, I need reproductive health and what? That ain't got nothing to do with any of that. This is about abortion, which is child sacrifice, which is murder, the fruit of your womb. You are killing. And God said, don't do that. Simple and plain. Well, there's a whole lot of other issues that they're not talking about. Well, we're not talking about the other issues. Yeah, 
where Trump is a, is a felon. Well, uh, Walsh put uh, <laughs> tampons in the boys' bathrooms. Give me the felon. That's what I'm saying. Let's don't play the moral, the morality game with any of them. They all politicians. That's not what this message is about. This message is about you coming out to use your earthly influence to cause somebody to be left. And when I say left, I mean left. Left wing, left here. That's what it's all about. They're getting paid to do it. But people are losing and being influenced by it. Amen. Well, if you didn't vote, then you can't speak on it. I can speak on the word of God anytime I get ready. I got scripture. I'm going straight with the word. Let's get busy. Watch this. In our world today, the Democratic Party of America and liberals all over the world are siding with what is completely against what the Bible says. I talked about it in Era Man 5, that uh, in time, one world religion is liberalism. It's a religion of self-worship, self-indulgence. Second Corinthians 6 and 14, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? Politics don't give you a pass to yoke up with darkness. If you know Megan the Stallion lyrics are sexually explicit and porno pornographic, and the little gl gorilla, what is it? Glo glorilla, who got Kurt Franklin on her new album, and Maverick City. You know, Maverick City was sing with Satan for a check. Yeah, they all on Glorilla's pornographic album. It's porn. And Cardi B. It's porn. It's, it's just porn. Your kids, if they follow them, all they got to do is go through the com comments and they'll get triple X pornography. Because that's all people post that follow them. So they use the artist to get porn to your children. Yeah. That's who is telling you to vote. Yeah. This is not to say that being conservative is Christian or godly. Because it's not. It's not Christian. It's not being godly if you're conservative. It just means there are certain things you won't do. Living a conservative lifestyle does not mean that you have been born again. This is where the problem comes in. I ain't liberal or conservative. I'm saved. Saved by the blood of Jesus. Saved by his power divine. Saved to a new life supply. I'm saved. So I'm not trying to call being conservative being Christian. Because I don't believe in the lesser of two evil philosophy. I believe that if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things are passed away then. But ain't none of us good enough. So our morals aren't going to get us there. So let me set that straight before somebody, you know. No, no, you need to be better than conservative. 
Amen. Amen. Romans 3 and 23. For all, how many have sinned? All. all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The liberal and the conservative, all of them sinned. That's why we have to have Jesus. Amen. Let me go over here because claps is thinning out over here. Let me. Amen. However, when you support liberals openly, then your entire theological stance as a believer is in question. Does Christ represent your beliefs or a political candidate? I'm trying to. Ephesians 5 and 11, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. So not only should you not yoke yourself with a liberal mindset, but you got to speak out against it. Rather, reprove them. Reprove them is speaking out against it. You can't be silent either. You're going to stand next to Megan the Stallion and you ain't going to call out her behavior? How she makes her money? Yeah, the Christian liberal, these are the ones that preach the faith without hate. <laughs> so stupid. Faith without hate. But if you love somebody, you'll tell them the truth. That's not hate. If I love you, I'm going to tell you the truth, and I hope you will tell me the truth. If it's love. That's not hate. You hate somebody if you don't show them the way. The right way. Many will feel some type of way about a message like this because it bottom line situations that they are used to evading. I'm the bottom line guy. I love bottom lining. Just bottom lining. Let's get to the bottom root. Let's figure out what is wrong. Why do you want this woman in office? Why do they want her in office? Why do you hate Trump and you don't know him? You talk about him like he was at the grocery store the other day. Just mad. I mean, he lies. He lies. Every time Kamala talks, she got a different accent. That's called lying. They all lie because they're politicians. A politician can't go one day without lying. Because you got to make everybody believe in you. That's going to require lies. When you are born again, and I know Trump lies. Biden, when he was coherent, he lied. Reagan lied. You know, I'm so old, I done seen a lot of them. I, Jimmy Carter lied. Gerald Ford lied. I didn't fall. Yes, you did. Nixon lied. I, I, I've seen all of those presidents. I can go to my mama. She done seen Lincoln lied. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> she gonna get me for that. But they all lied. Y'all honest Abe, he lied. They all are politicians. George Washington, he lied about his hair color. That's, those are politicians, man. You know, you may can find maybe a local level politician, like a city councilman or something, that might tell the truth. But after that, yeah, for a little while. After that, man, once they get to climbing them, dude, you're going to lie. 
Yeah. When you are born again believer, you cannot stand with the wrong side. Period. I tell people all the time, just look who's standing next to you. You got a witch casting a spell. You got warlocks. You got murderers, abortionists. You got same sex, uh, uh, LGB. You on the side, LGBT, you on the side with all of them. They're all looking for validation. Something that you're supposed to have in Christ. You don't have to be on the side with them if Christ is validating your life. If you're still looking for earthly validation, then something is wrong with your salvation. First Corinthians 15 and 33, do not be deceived. Bad company does what? Yeah, you, you can tell everything about a person by the company that they keep. Yeah. If everybody that's telling me to vote for you is on the Epstein and P. Diddy list, then, I mean, come on. I got some questions. Everybody you showing is on one of them lists. And folk let their color get in the way. I'm black and I can't vote for no white man. What was Biden? <laughs> and what is Kamala's husband? You're supposed to be mad at that sister girl. See, they always just, yeah, say that about them. Why well, ain't was no neck snapping and weave flopping, finger roll? Why wasn't none of Why wasn't none of that with that relationship? You okay with that one? Well, sometimes colors come together. Why you didn't say that? Remember? She can't use your comb. Don't bring a hole. That's that's you got that written in your. That's your motto. <laughs> People may have their personal or emotional reasons to not vote for a political candidate, but as a believer in Christ, you can never, look at somebody and say never. never. You can never have a reason to support any agenda that is against Christ. I'm sorry, bro. Oh, 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 you finna allow same-sex marriage? You, you about to give, you know the church just sat back and let Obama come in and give the LGBT a whole month and the month is longer than the black people's month. You, you, you let him do that. But because he was black, you didn't say nothing? No, man, I don't like you anymore just because you did this. So you'll never get a vote of mine ever. See, that's the kind of confidence I have in Christ. Because I ain't worried about this world system because this world system is going to hell where it came from. But God's kingdom is still alive on earth. And if I seek the kingdom of God, I'm going to have whatever he has for me. Seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness and all these other things will be added. not putting that kind of faith and confidence in a human being especially one I don't know one keep lying all the time Revelation 2 and 15 says so hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans which thing I hate that's the Bible Jesus said, I hate that doctrine. What doctrine? Antinomian doctrine of the Nicolaitans. I've taught you all about antinomianism. You can come into church and preach just for a political reason? You don't even go to church? You're going to open the doors and as soon as she quotes scriptures, everybody go to hollering and screaming? You wasn't saying that when Deacon or, or, or Willie 
was over there uh, reading that same scripture. Jeremiah said, everybody. I said, Jeremiah said. But if she said, Jeremiah said. Why are you screaming and hollering because of that? Because it's her reading your Lord's scriptures, the sacred scriptures that we hold dear to. She going to come in there and make a mockery of it, a scoffer like the Bible calls her. You got an agenda and you're going to use the scriptures for it. And we going to sit around and clap for that when men have labored and given their lives to give the message of Jesus Christ fighting devils, warring against darkness, putting themselves through all of this, their families attacked. Their churches attack just so they can preach the gospel. And you gonna let her walk in there? Pastor need his license revoked. The voting process is a vetting process of the elite. Your votes don't count. The elite picks them. You got to see Era Man 5 just in case you missed it. I'll show you how they planned this many, many years ago. Well, y'all was there at Era Man 5, so what am I talking about? Maybe that was for the folks that's going to watch this video. I don't know. <laughs> but the vetting process, that's all it is. They're just vetting. So you vote so they'll see what you stand for. That's it. They just want to know who you are, who you really, really are. You wear the hat, you wear the suit, you spray on the cologne, you got the dentine gum, you got the whole church starter kit, out to work a starter kit, got the tie tack, you got it all, taps on the bottom of your shoes, you look the part, but is that what you really believe? So the elite, they vet you with the voting process are you really will you stand against homosexuality are you gonna stand against it you're gonna stand against abortion you're gonna stand against same-sex marriage you're gonna stand against transgenderism you're gonna stand against this stuff or are you gonna lay down i'm good with it as long as i get what i want out of the package so i don't care what you package it with as long as i get what i want see they vetting you they say oh okay that's one that ain't real that's one that's not ready for the lion's den. That's one that's not ready for the fiery furnace. That's one that's not going to do what they did in the Bible days. That's one that's not going to stand with his life. So they'll just mark you. Yeah, that's a candidate. They'll, they'll receive the mark of the beast for sure. For sure. Because they're scared to stand up. So they vet you. They want to know where people stand on social issues more than anything. This gives them the ability to emotionally control you. Talked about that in there, man. Emotionally, it's going to be your emotions that make you take the mark. Your feelings are going to make you defy Christ. The way you feel. So this gives them the ability to emotionally control you and manipulate you into accepting the very things you should be standing against. Amen. Matthew 7 and 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. There are going to be some that say, Lord, Lord, they don't belong to him. He's not going to just say, depart from me. He's going to say, depart from me. I never knew you. You know, that kind of stuff make me want to just repent right now. I don't, I mean, well, how are you playing with this, man? But he that doeth the will of my father, which is in heaven. There he is. The grand wizard. That's, that's, that's how they see Trump. 
that's Trump and Vance, Trump's wife. That's, that's how they see them. I'm serious. That's, how they, that's, that's all they can see. They've been programmed by TV, social media, everything. That's what they see. <laughs> that's what they see. All the HBCUs are struggling, can't stay open, falling apart. And Trump was the one that gave the black colleges the money to try to help them. Try to help you Negroes. Oh, I don't want that. I didn't hear nobody. Uh, they wasn't seeing Trump as one of these when he was handing that check out. No, we can't take your money, Grand Wizard. Uh, he took that check. <laughs> boy, boy, boy. This is strong delusion and people are straight up believing that wrong can be right. They believe that they can support what they want emotionally even though it promotes what is destroying God's plan for people. Did you hear that? Yeah, they think they can, because I feel like she's this or he's that, I can promote that. But what is that doing? to God's plan in people's lives. God ain't planned for nobody to have transgender surgery. I don't even know what happens after you do that. Can you reverse it? Can you change it? Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. So. Who's calling evil good and good evil? You let, you, you let them speak in your churches and preach? Bring a word? But they support evil? Is that not calling evil good? Or evil okay? That's antinomia. That's the Nicolaitans. Jesus said he hates that. You know why Jesus hates it? Because you cheapen his crucifixion. You, you, you're basically saying he died for nothing. The devil has now labeled right as white. Y'all know that's the truth. Yeah, right is white now. White is right. Now when blacks and other races hear right wing, evangelical, or conservative, they think of racist white people that love God but hate blacks. Yeah, that's social media programming. You've been programmed. Yeah. Evangelical. That means that those are just the cross-burning clansmen that have church services. Yeah. Right wing. Right is now white. Romans 2 and 1. Therefore thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judges, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself, for thou that judges do the same things. So because you labeling him as racist and not voting all that, you being racist. <laughs> you use the N-word every day. Just racist, but gonna accuse them of being racist. They should be colorblind. You not colorblind. Yeah, you pushing for all the black B E T and all that old junk. Why the blacks got a TV station? They ain't like they speaking another language. I understand the Japanese channel. I understand the Korean channel. I understand, amen, Telemundo. I, I understand. I'm watching that. I don't know what they're talking about. They need their own channel. But blacks, we speak in English. Just like whites. Why? Yeah, the Stella Awards. Why we got the black people awards? The hip hop awards and all of that. Yeah. yeah. 
and ain't none of our money black. But money is one color. We must always stand. I'm almost done. We must always stand for what is biblically right. There is nothing wrong with right. There is nothing wrong with right. There's nothing wrong with right. There may be things wrong with people, but that should never cause a believer to side with the enemy of God. We are children of the light, so there is never a cause for us to side with darkness. Yeah. Ephesians 5 and 8. For ye were sometimes darkness, but now as ye light in the Lord, now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. Amen. Amen. Summary. Three page summary. So, <laughs> if a Klansman quotes scriptures, is the Bible still true? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If a pastor is a racist, does that make all churches bad? If a slave master says he's a Christian, does that make Christianity false? <laughs> these are the questions we must ask ourselves today because these are the issues that are indoctrinating this current generation. People today are so emotional that they will fight against a political party leader that angers them because of social issues. Church people today are being so gullible that they are siding with witches, warlocks, LGBTQ, Freemasons, devils and demons, etc. just because they are programmed to hate the guy on the other side. I'm not saying who you should vote for. But I am saying that as a believer, you must never, under any circumstance, support the things that God is against. <laughs> they have created a way to vet out so-called Christians in this hour by putting politics in the church and causing pastors, weak pastors, leaders, Christian artists that are desperate for fame or money or attention, etc., to use their influence to defend the plan of the enemy. I know you may say, what makes the other side not the plan of the enemy? Why are you just talking about the Democrats? What makes the Republican? Well, here's what I'm talking about. Abortion is the devil's plan and God hates it. Is abortion God's plan? Is he for it? Same-sex marriage is the devil's plan and an abomination to God. Right? Transgenderism is the devil's plan and in defiance to God, right? Hip hop, which the Dems use to get votes, is the devil's plan and is destroying, the, destroying God's heritage of youth, right? We are to depend upon God and his leading to help us through social and economic issues. So these should never be the cause of us supporting liberals or antichrist agendas. Let me say it again for the people in the back. Conservative is not Christian. I'm not calling conservatives Christians. No, you got to be born again. Amen. Just because you have better morals or fight against moral decay does not make you Christian. We as Christians must separate ourselves from politics and get back to trusting God. Amen. Amen. We can vote if we desire, but we should never publicly support candidates that openly go against what we say we believe. Right? How you go, how you supporting what you say you're against? That makes you a man that wavers. And the Bible says, don't let that man think he will get anything from me. When your opinions and feelings are tossed to the left and the right, you don't know where you stand. You don't have a standard. We can vote if we desire, but we should never publicly support the candidates that openly go against what we say we believe. There is nothing wrong with right and standing for what is right. 
After all, listen, the polarity of God's kingdom is illustrated as the right being godly and the left being carnal or worldly. Amen. It's funny how politics are divided into these same polar opposite groups. Look at somebody and say, right is always right. <laughs> Matthew 25 and 32, and I'm done with this message. And before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one from the other as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep where? His right on his right hand. But the goats where? On the, on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Those that are right. And as for those that are left, you're going to be left because he's going to say, Depart from me, workers of iniquity. You are cast into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Everyone stand to your feet. You know, when you preach a message like this, the first thing people want to say, but you're not perfect. You do stuff. Ooh, we're not talking about that. It's talking about what we stand for, what we preach, what we believe. If we erase boundaries, then we don't have anything to teach. If we erase the old landmarks, then we don't know where we are. So everybody just bow your heads. I'm not going to call you up today. What I want you to do is I want you to pray for Trump, Donald Trump. Pray for this nation. We're going to pray for God's will to be done in this final hour as we all prepare to see him. Amen. Amen. Father God, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you for this message. Father God, we ask, Lord God, that you would help us in this last final hour hold true to your truth no matter what. No matter what others are doing, no matter what the world is doing, help us to stand strong in this hour. Plant our feet firmly on your truth God so we won't be rocked by winds and waves so we won't be pushed to the left or the right but Father God we can stand like that tree planted by the rivers of water we can be steadfast and unmovable come on and lift your hands up and Father God give us an end time strength end time courage end time anointing to be able to stand these last few years we have on planet earth and let your will be accomplished through us who you want us to be what you want us to do and what you need us to accomplish in this last hour and we give you glory and honor in Jesus name we pray amen Amen. Amen. And let me say this, give you a disclaimer. I talked about folks in here, and somebody told me the other day, you know, you, you, you always exposing and exposing, and we ain't it. Now, EX Ministries has never exposed. We take what people say and hold it up to the word of God. Amen. Amen. That's not exposing. That's reproving and so in the process of reproving I call names and stuff and we will continue to pray for these people that they get it right we ain't giving up on anybody amen God didn't give up on us we're not giving up on anybody so these bishops and different ones hopefully they can find their way but they gotta stop doing stupid stuff amen stop doing dumb stuff with these politics and being in bed with these political candidates and got people all crazy and hating their own family members now. 
So continue to pray for your families. We'll continue to pray and we'll see what the end's going to be. Amen? Amen? Come on and give God some praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.